Hi YouTube, I wanted to give a quick update on what's going on with me. It's been quite a long time, hasn't it? I haven't uploaded anything and it's been kind of like radio silence since I think last May or something like that. It's been like seven months or so. And I wanted to just update everybody and tell you all what's going on with my life. And I don't really have any plans to resurrect this channel or continue to make content here, but I did just want to like give everybody an update on me. I, I don't know why. I just felt the need to do that. It kind of came into the back of my mind recently. And I wanted to say that uh, I'm recording this on my phone, by the way, and uh, this isn't, you know, like the greatest quality or whatnot, but, you know, I don't think anybody really cares about that, to be honest with you. So... Yeah, I, I wanted to open this up by saying I'm like really proud of all the videos that I made about the Philippines in the past uh, couple years. Uh, I do not live there anymore. I live in Mexico now, actually. And uh, some circumstances that were out of my control kind of happened. And, and I went back home uh, last December of, December of 2020, so about a year ago. And I wanted to go and spend a Christmas with my family. And I thought that maybe the Philippines would open back up again after some time. And they didn't. Spoiler alert, they didn't. And I was kind of stuck in the United States for for a couple months. Um, I uh, ended my relationship with Laura. And I know that it's going to come as a shock to a lot of people. Or maybe some people are sad. But I don't think you should be sad. That's This is something that happens in life sometimes. And... and uh, uh, she's happy and I'm happy and everything is fine. And that, that happened quite some time ago, actually. About a year ago. And so, um, yeah, I couldn't go back to the Philippines. And so I kind of had this really tough time in my life from, you know, January to, to April. I was trying to think about where I'd want to go. I didn't want to live with my parents anymore in the United States. So I thought I've always wanted to go to Mexico. And I would love another adventure, and I would love to wipe the slate clean. And I decided to come here to Mexico uh, in May of last year. I didn't really know a lot of Spanish, but I started to learn Spanish. And um, es, puedo hablar en español ahora, y es mejor de mi Tagalog. <laughs> mi Tagalog es no muy bien, y if, if you can understand anything I'm just saying right now, I'm just speaking in Spanish, but... I uh, remember I tried to learn Tagalog as well, and that was tough for me, but I've actually done pretty well learning Spanish, and I can talk to people pretty well here. Uh, so I learned Spanish all last year, moved here to Mexico. I have an apartment. This is my apartment. Um, I'm going to probably get a car soon, and I have a life here. I deleted my Facebook page that has... Um, hold on really fast. I deleted my Facebook page that has half a million likes. It's gone. It's never coming back. Deleted my Instagram, and I kind of just like maintained radio silence on a lot of these platforms. And I think I'm going to delete my Facebook profile as well, my my personal page. And uh, it's like, what happened? You know, how did I go from making videos every day, uh, well, not every day, every week, being really happy to be living in the Philippines to radio silence, living in Mexico, no updates, nothing. Well, the fact of the matter is, you know, I, lo I, I, I see my time in the Philippines as over, you know. Um, I will always have, obviously, love for that country and love for Filipinos, and I will be wishing them the best. Uh, but I think that I was getting a lot of abuse online for a lot of different things, and I just couldn't keep up with the abuse. I didn't want to have that in my life anymore, and uh, I decided to just delete my page entirely. Uh, not to mention that you kind of get a lot of messages from people and it can it can be quite the time suck for you. And so I decided that it's your country. Uh, I don't really have a say in what you do and the decisions that your government makes. And it's up to you, really. You know, it's not up to some white guy from the United States to tell you how you should run your country. It's It's up to you. And... I'm not, I don't say that to, I don't want to discourage or, or make it seem like I don't like foreigners talking about the Philippines. I think it's actually a really good thing.
think it's a really, really good thing. Like people like Putin Pinoy and um, other creators in the Philippines. Like I think Finn Snow is doing a great, great work. Um, like these are really great creators that really just want to make a difference in the Philippines and they want to speak their mind and they're good at having these conversations. I am not good at having these conversations. Um, and it affects me. These, these comments affect me pretty hard. And I decided to cut that out of my life entirely. Um, the fact is, I don't really, I don't think, I don't feel like I owe the Philippines anything. I made videos for two and a half years. I spoke my part. I think I'm very, very proud of a lot of the videos that I made. They weren't, you know, the same old reaction to, you know, fucking, <laughs> they weren't the same old reaction to Sinigang, you know, or the Filipino malls, you know, type videos. They were videos that dealt with a lot of interesting things. And uh, I'm, I'm, I don't regret my time in the Philippines at all. No. No, no way. I had so much fun there. I had a great time. I got to see a lot of that country and I got to learn so much about life from being there. And I want to say thank you to all of my viewers and subscribers and everyone who supported me over the past couple of years. I mean, it's just, I'll never forget it. I'll never forget it in my life. Um, but it, it started to become kind of like my identity and, and I wanted to move on to something else. I think one of the one of the most brave things you could do as a creator is reinvent yourself and try to do something else. And I think that's something that a lot of these, you know, Filipino vloggers, Philippines vloggers, like will never, not Filipino vloggers, Philippines vloggers, like foreigners in the Philippines. I think that's something they don't understand. They, they're going to milk the, the Philippine reaction videos as much as they can until they stop making money from it. And that's just how it is because they're a slave to the money and they're a slave to the views. And for me personally, I don't, I don't really care about any of that. Um, I said my parts. And so for me, it's, I won't be making any more videos about the Philippines. And I'm not even sure I'll be making any more videos in general at all on YouTube. And so, yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm really not sure. Uh, it's, I, I have my writing on LinkedIn and on Medium. Yeah, I write there every day. I write on LinkedIn quite a bit. I write on Twitter. But Facebook, Instagram, YouTube, it's kind of been radio silence. Um, what else should I update you on? I don't know. I think, you know, that's about it. I don't really have anything else to say. I, you know, it was sad for me to, like, move on. It was hard for me to reinvent myself over this past year. Trust me. It was difficult. Um, I had to learn another language. I had to start mm -hmm. over again in another country where I, I really knew nobody. And I, the fact of the matter is I am just so fascinated by other countries. I'm fascinated by other cultures, by other people. And I love learning more about other countries and their history and their culture. And um, I'm going to continue to do that in Mexico. And I try to do my part in in donating to charities in the Philippines, but I also want to donate to charities in Mexico and, and I want to learn about some of the issues here, um, some of their biggest problems here, you know, um, you know, corruption, cartels, et cetera, et cetera. Um, and, and, and I want to do my part to learn about this country as well. And what I did for the Philippines, I will, what I did in the Philippines, I will continue to do in Mexico. And uh, I will continue to write uh, and share my thoughts and talk about the things that I've learned. And I hope to one day write a book about all this because, you know, to go from no nothing to half a million followers to deleting it to moving it to another country and trying to learn another language. I mean, it's all kind of a crazy story, to be honest with you. And, you know, to go from having people n recognizing you in public that you don't know to moving to another country where nobody knows who you are. I mean, it's been a roller coaster ride, and uh, I'm I'm really proud of the work that I've done, and um, and I'm I'm I just wanted to give that update, and that's that's really all I wanted to say. And so um, I still see some posts about the Philippines. I still follow like what's happening there a little bit from time to time from my friends. 
but for the most part, I am uh, basically disconnected. And I am going back to the Tom that existed before he ever went to the Philippines. And I'm going to keep writing and I'm going to keep doing what I've always been doing. And uh, so I just want to say, like, thank you to everyone. I mean, um, uh, I'm not sure if I'll make more videos. I might here on YouTube, like, like what I've said. But like, once again, my Facebook page is gone. And, and uh, there's, there's just, I just want, like, one more thing. There's, for everybody who wants to be famous or who wants to start a YouTube channel and get views and subscribers, you know, it's really not it's really not this amazing thing that you think it is. It's, it's fun. Um, but a lot of that stuff was unfulfilling for me. And I felt fulfilled when I created videos that I knew that had messages that I knew needed to be said and needed to be shown to people. And so, you know, like talking about, um, uh, the bias towards people with whiter skin in the Philippines, for instance, and, um, you know, talking about, I think, my problem with beauty pageants, uh, these types of things. I really enjoy talking about that. And um, I wish everyone the best. I wish the Philippines the best. I hope that, I, look, I spent more time in the Philippines. I spent two, basically two and a half years living in the Philippines. Um, I don't know that country anymore. I really don't. I don't know you guys anymore. Um, you don't know me anything either. And uh, I did my part to try to learn about that country probably more than, you know, 99.9% .9 of foreigners do. And uh, for that, I'm really grateful. And I'm really grateful for all the support over the years. And uh, yeah, this feels like a farewell message, but I very well might be back later on. So um, yeah, I wish you all well. Thank you for watching.